here we have our start here page, which I have opted to put at the very top of my course navigation. And the idea behind start here is that we want to give our people some kind of roadmap and plan for not, not only how to prepare for the first week of class, but how to be successful for the entire semester. A uh, quick link to the syllabus. You can mention, you know, IT help or instructor help. Uh, this is our course workflow. So what is the order that they should do things? I have a course link right here to my learning modules page. And I have a link with various uh, hyperlinks inside. And you'll see that I have made the hyperlinks not only a different color, but also bold and a larger font so that the hyperlink is very obvious to find. As I built this, I wanted to minimize how much people had to click and search for information. So this will be kind of like your one-stop shop on the tools and procedures of your course. All of this information would not really fit in an announcement. And with announcements, whenever you make a change and you save it, it's going to send a copy of the announcement out again, and that can be pretty annoying. Whereas with this area here, with edit mode turned on, you can just drag and drop these individual items however you want, whenever you want. With the learning modules, this is kind of where the idea of course design comes into play. You have several possibilities, and I want to show you what they all look like. Learning modules is a content area. Why? Because I have these four tabs for building content. And I have three different styles here. We have a list of items, which if this was all the learning module was about, or this, this uh, content link area, this would be okay. And so typically faculty will organize all of these links in two ways, either through folders or as learning module, as you can see right down here. I'm gonna go into student mode for a second and kind of give you a sense of the difference between all this. So the items are pretty self-explanatory. They appear in this list, or however I organize them, and that's all there is to it. The problem, however, is that if I go to a learning module, it's gonna present every single item in that module on its own individual page. So I tried moving everything into a folder, but as you can see, I've got page one of eight. So my individual content items the learning module makes it linear in this fashion. So if I have to go to the next arrow, I only see the welcome instructors page, not all of the items. In general, I do like the structure of a learning module, but sometimes it can get really annoying if you have 20 or you know 50, even 15 items over here, and you have to click every single one to figure out which one is what you wanted to look at. That's why I wanted to have all of my content kind of in this nice long list here of items that you could just simply scroll through, look at the titles, and then be done with it. Luckily, copying and moving items is very easy in Blackboard. And on this folder, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and then copy it. When you copy items, as long as they are not assignments, you can copy them to different courses and also different folders. I'm gonna keep it inside this same shell, go to browse, and then choose a content area to stick the copy in, which is gonna be right here under the learning modules link. Don't think that you're gonna be clever and copy this link and just paste it in there because Blackboard is not going to let you do that. You have to always click browse and then navigate to the location, hit submit, and again, this is not the folder I copied. I'm gonna go back to learning modules here. And at the very bottom now is that folder. So if I go back into student mode, we see that, hey, there's a folder. If they click on the folder, same idea. There's all the items in one nice list. This is why for the course, you're gonna see that I've actually opted to use a series of folders and not learning modules, because I want you to have that immediate access to all of the items uh, in one nice, easy to look at list. Even though for prior courses, in this biology class, you can see that there's a few items at the very top, but then every week is its own learning module, and it's nice and contained, it's very structured. So even though I love 
learning modules for this course, I've chosen to have a series of folders. So one folder for each topic. And typically over here on the, uh, the left, you're going to have in your template a tests and a announcements and a materials content area already made for you if you choose to, to use it. And if it's not there, you can simply add one very easily by going up to this top uh, left object, mousing over it, and going to New Content Area. Tools are things like discussion boards, collaborate, and our template has a tools link already created for us, which was made by going to the plus sign, going on tool link, and then the tool type was basically the tools area. The tools area is the same thing as all of these course tools down here. And if you're going to use these, don't make students find the tool in this entire list. I recommend you actually have a direct link to that tool up here in your navigation menu. That's why I have a discussions link that goes to the discussions board tool. Then what you can do in other content areas of your course, like start here, for example, is link to any of those tools at any time by going up to build content and then uh, course link. Typically, you will see two landing points, either the home page, which I think is just too busy, and the announcements page. The announcements is probably the most common. To change this, all you have to do is go down to customization and then teaching style. And on the teaching style page, look for the set course entry point. And if you notice, if I go on the entry point and click on the drop down, it's going to mirror all of my links that I have visible in my course navigation up here. So there's start here, announcements, syllabus. If you want to be really extreme, you can change this week to week based off of whatever you want them to pay attention to. So if I had a short class, maybe four weeks long, I could go up to the top and do, you know, plus content area week one, week two, week three, week four, and every week go down to the entry point 